MBS IMP training begins with the Learning Zone, which introduces and explains the MBS IMP's 17 physiologic components and scores associated with each that together comprise the assessment tool. Organized according to three physiologic domains, the 17 components are categorized under either the oral, pharyngeal, or the esophageal domain. The scores for each component are explained and demonstrated using representative segments of video fluoroscopy, each paired with detailed and synchronized animation. These example pairs can be viewed, reviewed, and studied repeatedly. Here is an example of how the MBS IMP teaches component number 6, initiation of the pharyngeal swallow. Component 6 is scored based on the position of the bolus head or leading edge at the time of first initiation of the brisk superior anterior hyoid trajectory. A score of 0 is represented by the bolus head at the posterior angle of the ramus at the time of first hyoid excursion. A score of 1 is indicated by the bolus head at the molecular pit at the time of first hyoid excursion. A score of 2, as shown in the video clip, occurs when the bolus head is at the posterior laryngeal surface of the epiglottis at first onset of hyoid excursion. A score of 3 is represented when the bolus head is at the pit of the piriform sinuses at the time of first hyoid excursion. A score of 4 is indicated by no appreciable initiation at any bolus location. In the training zone, learners will first practice scoring each MBS IMP component on single swallow studies. This promotes developing a familiarity with the components and scores that is the foundation for reliable profiling of impairment over the course of a full MBS IMP study. Thereafter, learners will practice assigning an overall impression score when viewing full swallowing studies. Here is an example of how the training zone functions. When ready to score a component, click the specific component in the left panel and the scores will populate in the right. To score, click the score of choice and submit. Feedback is immediate and states the success of the choice. If the score selected was incorrect, the system provides the correct score and an option to view the score's associated animation. If the answer selected was correct, well that's the message that's given. It's correct. Learners will have continuous and unlimited access to work within the learning and training zones. Once ready to put their knowledge to the test, learners will enter Zone 3, the Reliability Zone. Here, the learner's ability to successfully capture physiologic impairment using the MBS IMP is assessed. 10. Randomly selected swallow studies are presented for the learner to generate overall impression scores for each component. There is no time limit to finish the zone, and answers can be changed as needed before submitting for scoring. An overall score of 80% or higher is needed to pass and earn the designation of registered MBS IMP clinician. The reliability zone can be repeated as needed until successful completion is achieved. Learners who achieve 80% or higher will earn 2.1 ASHA CEUs and be designated for a period of five years a registered MBS IMP clinician. This designation grants access to the patient data and report section of the MBS IMP. Completing the educational zones and passing the reliability testing is only the very beginning of all that the MBS IMP was designed to be. Once the testing is successfully completed, an important and very functional section of the MBS IMP becomes available, the patient data and reports section. Here, registered MBS IMP clinicians have access to a collection of web-based tools that can be used daily to store and manage individual patient MBS IMP assessment and treatment data in a secure HIPAA-compliant database. To automatically generate standardized, editable MBS IMP study reports that can be imported into most electronic medical records. To connect with other MBS IMP clinicians from around the world via a forum to initiate discussions on the MBS IMP and related topics. Compare MBS IMP study and treatment results over time. Generate data for performance improvement studies. Track patient progress and outcomes with template query functions.
collect data that can assist profiling variations of swallowing impairment in terms of presentation and recovery patterns across like diagnostic categories. Demonstrate evidence for targeted treatment. When entering the patient data and report section, clinicians will see a link to access the forums, a link to add a new patient, as well as seeing all patients that have already been added to their database. Well-organized screens coupled with point-and-click completion for 98% of all fields make data entry efficient and quick. Before results of an MBS-IMP study can be entered, each patient's medical history must be present within the system. Entry of information is de-identified and complies with HIPAA guidelines. Diagnoses and conditions are organized according to body system and classified when entered by chronology of episode. Selection of certain cancers, such as head and neck cancer, elicit subscreens that permit entry of additional pertinent information concerning surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy as applicable. Entry of surgical history, non-surgical medical treatment history, social history, and medication and allergy information complete the patient history screen. The entry screens for each MBS IMP study provide input fields for Joint Commission mandated data such as pain assessment, procedural timeouts, barriers to learning, and whether or not education was provided and understood. Fields are also included for pre-study route and nature of nutritional intake, information on patient positioning, radiographic viewing planes, fluoroscope settings. Upon completion of the study, the MBSIMP scores for each component can be entered. The penetration aspiration scale is also provided. Delineation and success of strategies used and exercises that have been used over a course of therapy and seem to have been effective. Post-study recommendations for nutrition, referrals to other disciplines, and of course, proposed plans of care, short and long-term goals and frequency. Once the data is saved, the patient's medical history and MBSIMP study findings are placed in report format, which can be viewed and downloaded for editing, distribution, or transfer into an electronic medical record system. The length and detail of each report can be controlled by the selection of the data entered. As many or as few of the available entry fields can be completed, but keep in mind, all data entered will contribute not only to the integrity of the study report, but to future research as it will be maintained in the NBSIMP database, which will in effect function as a data registry dedicated to the study of swallowing impairment and international in scope. This concludes the tour of the mbsimp.com. Please email any questions to mbsimp at northernspeech.com. Thank you.